Hello, and welcome back to XCOM, and to the memorial. Someone did point out, and quite rightly so, that it would have been ideal had I ended the last episode at the memorial, so that we can remember those who perished during Operation Vengeful Justice. So, I'm starting this episode at the memorial. A bit of a somber start, I know, but we must... Honour those who have fallen, not just in Operation Vengeful Justice, not just Polar Enigma Dash or Johnny Mother Third, but all of the fallen heroes. Well done. You have given your lives so that many, many more can continue living theirs in terror, in dark times, hounded by aliens, some of them abducted and prodded, some of them cut open while they're still alive. Yeah... Actually, maybe you, you didn't do the right thing in dying. Maybe you should have just stayed alive and killed more aliens! <sighs> maybe Dapper Jester shouldn't have made one panic and kill you, Polidad. Damn it. I'm not cut out for this. All those glasses there, you see, are mine. I've been drinking, and uh, it's just harsh times. Hang on. Uh, really? That looks like... Is it? Is it? It is! <laughs> That's the first time I've seen that, I think. Maybe. Possibly. Ah, Dapper Jester hanging out with the crew. In his awesome armor, of course. I, you know, he's, he's not ta taken that off yet. He's very, very pleased with his armor. But yeah, you know, chilling out with the, with the rookies. You know, recounting tales of his awesomeness. Like that time when he melted an alien's mind with his mind. Or that other time when... Uh, he exploded an alien's mind with his mind. And who can forget that time when he crushed an alien's mind with his mind? Yeah. The Upper Jester stories, they're, they're, not, they're not very... Yeah, they're kind of, kind of all samey, really. They're a little bit boring. But, uh, no, they're not going to say anything because, I mean, after all, he can crush people's minds with his mind. He does put the fear into people. Now, oh, before we leave the barracks, actually... We have two news. Uh, squaddies, actually. Uh, I was going to say guests. They're not guests. They're squaddies. We have Eli, a heavy, in orange. And actually, I need to change this. I want the different armor deco for you. There you go. In orange. Lots of orange. Do let me know if that color suits you. Maybe it doesn't. If you'd like another color, do let me know. And we've got another new recruit. Crimes, zero one. A sniper. Uh, of course, we're quick to assure everyone he's not trying to replace Polar Dash or Johnny Ma. I mean, how could anyone replace Polar Dash or Johnny Ma? But uh, he's going to try and carry the torch now that they have fallen in the line of duty. But that all said and done, let's go and check out the situation room. We have things to do, things to sell, to be more specific. Um, yeah, let's get rid of some of these. We do not need 18. We'll, we'll stick with 10. Um, and we really don't need you. We'll stick with 5 of you. Actually, I don't think we get anything from the heavy footers, so we'll sell down to 5. We'll keep 5, though. Um, drone racks, yeah, we'll sell down to 5. Uh, we've got loads of alien alloys, that's nice to see. We don't need these, these are just uh, cash. In the form of alien stasis tanks, uh, cunningly disguised. Same with these, they're not actually alien surgeries, they are large collections of money. Oh. I, think we can take them. Mm. <laughs> I, I like your confidence, but uh, I think your tactical summaries are a little bit wanting. Now, I'm tempted to sell some of these as well, because um, they are a lot of money. I'll sell one of them. That gives us 364 megabucks. Let's go see what we can buy. Well, there's nothing for us to research. At least I don't think there is. Right, alien grenades. I've been saying I will get these for a very, very, very long time. Yes, we're going to get them. Ooh, and only seven days. I like. Um, now, stealth satellites. This is something that I'm really thinking about. Because someone has mentioned that satellites are... Uh, you can upgrade this and it'll affect all satellites and it actually 
it seems to say this here update our satellite network it seems to imply that the satellites we already have will be upgraded to stealth satellites that might be good and also we can do it faster because of credits we we'll do it in four days that would be before the um council report i don't know if this would affect it or not but that would be interesting but production begins immediately thank you dr chen we've got something i'll be in touch right so but oh there's so much stuff that we want to buy oh well we can get a heavy plasma now that is an expensive piece of kit very very expensive wow but what i'm really thinking of right now and you know i am is this we could buy two new titan armors two count them that would be an awfully good thing for our squad um but i'm gonna sit on that for for now i'm not gonna buy the cell satellites i think we're gonna wait until the council report for that but i'm gonna wait until the next combat mission to decide what we want to buy other than foundry stuff uh just buying um like armor and things like that as instant so we we can afford to wait so let's go to mission control three days on new soldiers arriving six days on a council report six days also on side testing seven days on alien grenades and 11 days on a new firestorm being built all right time to scan for activity kitchen apply aye, aye, aye. okay Kitchen appliances return to active duty. We have a terror mission in Miami. Miami. Miami? In Miami. Panic in that location is three. Now, if you fail a terror mission, it doesn't matter if it was one. From my experience, it goes straight to four. We cannot afford for anyone to panic. Not with six days on the council report, because there's no way we'd get that panic down. Very difficult. Oh, damn it. Right, okay. We need to buy those Titan armors, I think. Survivability is paramount. Oh, we could get a heavy plasma. No, no. Titan armor it is. Two of your finest Titan armors, my good man. Make it snappy. Now, is there anything else we can buy? Anything awesome that will give us an edge? No, no. No awesome things that will give us an edge. No, okay, fine. Right. It looks like it is time. There's no point in us waiting around for this. We've got a job to do. And I think we're going to do it. <laughs> One day on new soldiers. Damn it. Okay. Alien terror attack in Miami. Send Sky Ranger. <sighs> okay. Of course. Major Jester. Hunter. In the lead. Let's see. What can we give you? Loadout. Do we want you to take a grenade, or do we want you to take something a little bit more oomphy? What's your aim? Your aim is 85, we could give you an aim of 95 with this. Maybe. Um, or we could give you an arc... No, we're not going to take an arc. Though. We'll take the grenade for now, and we'll have a look at the rest of the squads. Right. Let's... Um, okay, while well, we are taking kitchen appliance regardless what happens so let's get in there we've got some more titan armor wow you look suddenly beefy look at your thighs oh. all right 81 aim that's kind of poor honestly but so you're definitely gonna have to have the scope okay now let's just clear all of these units for a moment and then see what we've got now got an assault we've got a heavy that's good um oh my lord all of our good units breakfast items not there island cormac isn't there uh, one day i don't think we can wait for them though I'm fairly sure that if we try to wait, this is just going to go straight to... F I don't know. One day might not be too bad. Uh, if we if we wait and it does... Like, it has a really short timer on how quickly we have to be to react. And we fail because of that. I would hate myself. 
So no, no, we're not. We're, we're absolutely not. We need one support though. Africa Hotel looks. Th actually, do we have any named supports? Uh, Nigeria Victor, no. Wolf of Nort. Might take you. Let's see, no one else. That Joe guy. Uh, that Joe guy is a squaddy. Wolf of Nort's a squaddy. Okay, well you're both the same then. Um, Nope, looks like we're going to be taking Wolf or not. That Joe guy? Well, we might take both of you, actually. <laughs> I forgot what you look like. Wow. Okay, <laughs> loadout. Um, yeah, we'll give you Titan Armor for now. Laser Rifle? No, we're going to give you a Light Plasma Rifle. 5 plus 12. That's actually... Awesome. Uh, we could give you med kit, which is what you're going to need as a support. Okay, you are set. Now we do want a sniper, so Nag dear, you are coming along to get you set up. We're going to give you the skeleton suit, and we're going to give you the plasma sniper rifle. You are going to have a laser pistol. And you're going to have a scope. Okay, you've got an 88 aim. That's uh, not great for a sniper, but we can't really do anything about that now. Okay, next. We're going to take... We're going to take Afrokin. Mr. Afrokin and his crazy side abilities. He can only mind fray, but uh, to be honest, so far, that seems to be one of the best ones. And tight armor for you as well. In the green this time. Right, you're going to get a... Oh, my God. It's nowhere near enough good weapons. You're going to have a laser rifle. A laser pistol. And you're going to have some extra health, I think. No, you're going to have grenade. You're an assault. You need to get in there hard and fast. I'm tempted to give you a uh, arc throw, but I don't think that would be wise. And finally, yes, we're gonna. Mm, we can either take another heavy or another support, but I think another support is gonna be better. Where are you, that Joe guy? Right, let's get you set up as well. And you're going to. Uh, you're, yeah, you're gonna be in the skeleton suit. This. That gives four, this gives three, but high defense, so yeah. You will have the light plasma rifle. So that you are better aim from further away, because I do not want you getting into the fight. And you're going to be bringing med kits. Wow, you look slim all of a sudden. Your head now looks too big for your body. But this is it. A team comprised of mostly rookies. You've got three ranking... Uh, three veterans who've actually seen some reasonable amount of combat. Oh, well, Knark did as well, actually, but hmm, I haven't taken her out for a very long time. I'd be surprised if her skills haven't rusted somewhat. <sighs> Dapper Jester there, looking grim and determined as ever. Let us hope that his grim determinedness will be enough. There we go. Alien terror attack in Miami. Dropship has arrived. Uh, I am really apprehensive about this. Begin assault. No! <laughs> Why do you do this to me, game? You have every right to look nervous. You don't look nervous because you we've already established that death doesn't want you. But no, we will be moving to secure the area and kill all the aliens. The civilians will be rescued if it is at all possible, but uh, we will not be going out of our way to do this. We will not be exchanging sure footing and defensible ground to rush out and save a civilian life. I'm very, very sorry about that, but no. Okay. Wow, look at Jester's health. That is crazy. 
Watch your fire out there. We have civilians. <sighs> I know. Repeat, civilians are in the AO. I know. I know. We also know what happened to Witterquick the last time he tried to help a civilian. It's kind of left a bad taste in our mouths, honestly. Now, okay, the map edge is over there. This is a small area, it looks like. That's kind of good, in a way. Alright, we've got a door there. Alright, what's above? Don't know what's up there. Fire, by the looks of it. And a civilian. How on earth did you get up there? It's probably a ladder around here somewhere, I imagine. Okay, this goes quite back quite far. Yeah. I'm using my... Uh, Cheat hacks X-ray vision. Well, what you don't know is Dapper Jazza can see through walls. It was one of his other abilities. But, uh, yeah. You can do that in uh, the UFO series. If you've got a psi capable soldier, they can see the map through their psionic vision. Which is pretty cool. Walls and things like that become very hazy, very difficult to see. But uh, you see units... Well, you don't really see their shape, but you can you can see their mind, the the the, the sort of the sapient units anyway, or uh, machines and things like that don't show up. Right, enough chitter chatter. I'm nervous. Can't you tell? <laughs> I don't want to lose the game. Damn it! All right, time to move forward. I'm not going to move near that car. The aliens that we're facing these days are powerful enough that their shots could do enormous damage. And could probably explode that in one go. Alright, let's get you down there as well. Now, what I'm hoping is that this car has already exploded, so it isn't going to explode anymore. Oh, there's a way in there. Okay. And you can probably walk up along there too. This door, I want covered. The doors up there, I want covered. We'll try and rescue you two if we can. For this, I'm going to have Wolfenort. Step forward, my good man. And next, Afro King. Okay, you've got one of the weakest weapons on the squad. In fact, you have the weakest weapon on the squad. It's not great, but uh, we'll do what we can with it. Now, you've got one of the most powerful weapons on the squad in the right situation. Oh, good. Full cover. Let's get down there, then. But you have not got a lot of health. I need to be aware of that. Okay. Time for Overwatch. And if you think I've played other missions cautiously... Wow. Dude. I'm going to be creeping forward in this one. I'm just giving you a heads up on this. If I manage to get out of this without losing anyone, it's going to be great, but it'll probably be at the cost of like three or four episodes. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. It might not be that bad. I hope it isn't that bad. <laughs> but I just don't want anyone to die. We've already lost so many. Right. Go on then, aliens. Your move. Chrysalids. Mutants. Yeah, definitely chrysalids and mutants. Okay. If I move forward too far, we're going to be in deep shit. Just get down there, Joe. Go, get here. Not through a door. Oh, I could see the witch quick thing happening all over again. It summons down. Even if they bring lots of zombies at us, I don't much care. Because we'll kill the zombies. The main thing is not getting killed ourselves. Now, Afro King, creep forward. You're with Joe. Now, dear, switch back to the sniper weapon there, please. Now, Jester, I can get you down here. And I can get you back in one turn. You're clear. Get out. Okay. Now I'm gonna have kitchen appliance creep forward. We've got three civilians here. Okay, two have died. We only heard one die, but now 
Jester, I don't want you standing there waiting for a chrysalid to come down and norm on your face. So you're going to run back up here. Good, good. Now, Overwatch, please. And you too. That's right. Eyes on the prize, indeed. Ah, Wolfenard, I forgot to move you. Damn. Okay, well, you're going to move forward anyway. There we go. Nocte is going to be holding back. And Joe, you're in a bit of a precarious position, but... You're in as good a position as I could put you whilst rescuing that civilian. Okay. There's something out there. Yes, it's killing the civilians. We are going to avoid that door like the plague for now. Okay. Can you get back all the way over here? Okay, that's not bad. You should have decent sight down there. Perhaps, I don't know. I could move you back here, but I don't think you'd be that good at shooting anything that appeared there. And same for moving you here. You'd have good sight on this area, though, but... I don't know. I think you'd have just as good sight from here. So, fall back. You've rescued someone, and that's what we wanted you to do. As for you... Damn, you can't get there. That's frustrating. But... I don't think anything on this roof is going to get a flanking bonus on you. Not from here. So I'm going to move you here, and then on the next turn I'm going to move you over there. Right. Now. Orphan out. No. We're going to keep you there for now. Jess is going to move forward. Okay, two chrysalids. We knew you were here. That isn't a surprise to us. There are always going to be chrysalids. What's annoying is that you've moved out of the way. Right. Good, we've got sight again. Got a 71 on you, 71 on you. Go for it. Okay, hollow targeting. Jester may be able to take it out, possibly. Jester, what can you see? You can't run and gun either. Uh, this may kill a civilian, but... I could possibly get this. It'll hurt, too. We'll hold off on that for a moment. We're going to see what we can do. You've already moved. Now, we either move Wolfen out over here to have better sight on everything over there, or we move him over here heavy cover, but vulnerable from anything up there, in the same way that uh, Kitchen Appliance is right now. I'm favouring... yeah, let's... I know I said I didn't want to be by this car, but... Right, the hollow targeting is giving you a bit of a... an edge. Excellent work. Now then, Jester. I'm going to have you... I'm going to put you into Overwatch. Hopefully if this thing comes for you, you'll get a shot on it. If it goes right up for you, you'll get another shot because of your perk. Overall, I think that's the best thing to do. I think here we're going to need to play it safe. So we may be about to lose some civilians, and I am sorry for that. But civilians don't save the world from the aliens. No, no. They might repopulate the world after the alien threat is over and uh, much of the world has been ruined, but uh, at least we are still here and alive. That may well be true, but... Oh, come on. Come on, Gnog, dear. Moment to shine. Don't shoot. Oh, I thought you were going to shoot Jester in the back. Ah, uh, don't worry too much. It was a good, good attempt. Jester, come on. No! How? Why? Wrong, bad. Everyone take a shot. You hit, well done. Frustratingly, you were the only one who did. Oh no, come on. Once more. Ah, oh, damn it, everyone is missing. Indeed. And he's scarpering. 
<sighs> that was our chance. Damn it all. Okay, well, that could have gone worse, I suppose. Not much worse, but it could have gone worse. Okay. We could move forward, but you're the least well armored. Um, no. Now, dear, we're going to have to move you forward. Switch to your pistol. And next. Joe. Let's get you over there, Joe. And Afro King. You're with Joe for now. We're going to reserve this run and gun on you for a desperately bad situation. I know I could have used it just now, and it was on my mind to do so, but... No, I didn't want to risk it. Now, the, the question here is, do we proceed towards this building? Do we advance and potentially open ourselves up for anything that's inside there? Or do we creep forward a little bit more first and... Uh, I'm sorry, civilians, but yeah, we're inside. creeping forward first. Oh, balls. There's a lot... What on earth is that? Oh, it's a sector pod. No blooming way. Uh, yeah. Sorry, civilians, but uh, no, no, no. We're uh, backing out of that fight. It's not one that we want a part of. Yeah, goodbye. Oh, you can still see one? What? Okay, he moved forward, did he? Right. <laughs> You've got to shoot past two civilians. Good luck. And you did. You hit it. That's fantastic. Don't be intimidated. If you are, take it out on him by shooting him. Okay. Not too bad. Who's up? Wolf or not? You've got a 70. You can't fire for some reason. You can't, you can't. Okay, Wolf or not? Take your shot. If you can hit him, you'll lure him out for the others. Excellent work. That's right, big boy. This way. Come on. Oh, balls. Ha-ha! No, don't shoot, Jester. Oh, both of you missed, did you? Okay. We need someone who can shoot him in the face and kill him now. Uh, who else can attack? Now, dear, you could take a shot, but I'd rather you don't. You could also take a shot, 76% chance. What's your mind ray like? It won't do enough damage, it's only 11% chance. Okay, fine. Uh, what chance have you got? 87. It's good enough. Balls, wrong weapon. Well, this is drawing him closer, at least. Ah, oh, stop panicking all the time. Or at least you hunkered. Right. You've got an 83% chance. Do some damage. And don't damage the car. Well, bollocks. But two people who are about to get a face full of engine explosion. And now you. 84% chance. Please do this or that. No, okay, fine. Just just shoot him then. No. Regular shot. Okay. One down, but our entire team is now vulnerable. Crystalids are on their way. Come on, Jester. What? No! Where are you aiming? Oh, thank goodness. I thought you were aiming up the ceiling there. Okay. That sounds like the sector pod. Who's next? Drones. Okay, we need to take you guys out so that you don't annoy the rest of us. And you're panicked. Damn it! I can't get them out of there. And that's not going to make them feel any better either. Right, well then, viewers, it is 30 minutes into the recording, or thereabouts. We are... Well, things could be worse. 
We've got two wounded soldiers due to an unfortunately... Well, it wasn't even a stray shot. It just had to go through the car in order to hit the opponent. But things could be worse. We have got a sector pot on the field, though. We've taken out two chrysalids. I don't know if they've managed to lay much y many young. We've lost six civilians. We've saved two. I've got to be honest, the only thing I'm hoping to achieve in this is to get out without losing any of our men. Doesn't matter how many civilians we lose. We've already saved two, and that's excellent in my book. But, uh, yeah. So, trouble in Miami. Let's hope that we can end this without losing anyone, because we really cannot afford to lose any more snipers. Hint, hint, nah, dear. But that's all for this episode. I hope you will join me in the next one, which will hopefully be the climactic conclusion of this ep mission, and it won't, have, uh, drag, won't drag out too long, but who knows. But until then, do take care.